you have a few loans. Um, mm. Well, at the time, did you did you feel like okay, now I need to go and play a bit more, or did you feel like maybe I'm gonna stay here and you know try to get my chance uh, through maybe being off the bench or things like that? What what's your what's your thought process in that time where it's hard to choose between a loan or staying at your your parent club? It's 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 difficult because yeah, you you think oh, I can stay here, get my chance. And you're getting a sniff, and then it, with football things change quickly. Do you know what I mean? Transfer windows come, new players come in, and now it's like, okay, yeah, and now I need to go somewhere where I'm gonna have more opportunity to play, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? And then quickly realizing football, people say certain things, and it doesn't always work out to be how they say. And um, loan moves obviously can be difficult. It, it's like a it's a flip of the coin which way it can go. Do you know what I mean? I think obviously alongside having somebody in the dugout that you you know is um positive believes in you etc just your mentality um in terms of like i said being free and stuff but with football you'll know especially being an attacker confidence is everything confidence determines whether a player looks mediocre or even terrible to looking like the best player on the pitch his confidence will be the differentiating factor do you know what i mean in terms of the way he plays and what he can do on the pitch. So um, for me, working on my finishing and lots of repetitions after training or just on my own, just with a bag of balls, just getting my repetition and techniques and um, doing things so you don't have to think about it, you know what I mean? Just automating certain techniques and things like that. That gives you that confidence in your ability, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think little things like that and staying on top of how you feel just doing these things where you're just doing a lot of repetitions, it just makes you feel good. Do you know what I mean? And then you'll find that when you go on a pitch, you'll do things um, without even thinking about it. So yeah, I'd definitely say um, that little bit of extra work. It may only be 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes after a session or whatever, um, for, especially for attacking players, it's huge. So um, uh, what would you say is the plan for the future? And um, what kind of things have you learned from all of your experience because you've got a ton of experience for still a young player um yeah, yeah. Think, um, well in terms of my experience i think um as a as a footballer and as a young player you you have to um you get yourself so emotionally invested in every little thing do you know what i mean to do with the game within your performance and you players will notice you it affects you so much emotionally, whether things go well or whether they don't go well. And I think as a player, you have to you have to maintain that like attention to detail um, in terms of your preparation, your performance, and everything. But you can't let it affect you emotionally um, as much as I used to do as a young player. Because with football, you'll find that if you do that emotionally you'll just be like this like all the time and you'll be too low at some points and then if you can't let yourself get too high at certain points do you know what I mean so definitely just um emotionally kind of keeping yourself in check obviously you, you care about everything that's going on but you, you can't let it let things get to you so much that would probably be a big piece of advice and then probably for me next obviously with everything that's going on um, it's a bit difficult, you know, um, speaking to Watford, they don't 100% know how the season's going to be concluded, not 100% sure whether there'll be a Premier League or Championship team next season. And obviously, I think that will have a, a big impact on what I do next season, do you know what I mean? So it's a little bit up in the air right now, but there's um, obviously quite a few options. So it's just um, a matter of waiting, really, to see how things pan out and then making a decision from there. 